Hello everyone, this is Story Majesty. Welcome to a fanfiction novel story where I am going to be reading The Last Minecrafters. So, here we go. Three years have passed since CY Stream had defeated Hades. Scientist Steve and Test Steve remain on the scary survival world while EY Stream comes back to our Minecraft realm. We can only hope that everything is back to normal. Brother, said Eve, do you have the ingredients? Yes, said Test Steve, but why are you, you doing this? I thought we wanted to be free. It's only fair that Hades brings Minecraft to an end, she said. EY Stream really thought that he won. He doesn't have a clue about what's really going to happen to him. Eve pulled a lever, and Hades' soul merged into a new body. I live, Hades roared. Daughter, I thank you for bringing me back to life. Eve bowed and smiled. Test Steve looked at his father nervously. Hades stood up and summoned his sword. At last, he said, my sword is complete. We shall go to the Minecraft realm and collect the souls of the crafters. Our conquest begins. At one part of the Minecraft realm, Ewystream woke up with a start on his bed. Oh my god, he yelled. I'm in my room, but that means the scare survival realm is gone. Oh no, even Test Steve are gone forever. He buried his face in his hands. His cell phone then rang. Hello, he said. Jordan? Someone asked. Ella? He answered. Oh my god, I've been trying to reach you, she said, but I haven't been getting a good reception from your phone. Where have you been for the past seven months? Scary survival realm, he answered. It's all over. We won. Hades isn't coming back. Neither is the realm. That's great news, she said. You might want to turn on the news. Some small minecrafter is on it. Okay, he said. He turned on the news and saw Alex and Steve. Good morning, said Alex. We're going live with Steve over in a different part of the Minecraft realm. Hello, Steve. Hi, Alex, said Steve. Here we have some small Minecrafter that just built a castle called Goat Castle. It is a castle where you can learn magic. Sir, how does a Minecrafter learn such a thing? You learn it with potions, lapis, and the enchantment table, said the small Minecrafter. A small explosion was heard from behind the castle. I thought I told them not to mess with the TNT. First, the small Minecrafter, Bob, Gerald, what have I told you? The two villagers came out of the front door of the castle covered in black dust. Sorry, sorry, said Bob. We were just trying to make a high check trampoline. Yeah, but it exploded everything in a small area, said Gerald. At least you guys are okay, said Sorry. Get yourselves cleaned up and get treated at the goat hospital. Sorry turned to the camera. There may be some dangers here, said Soaring, but you will remain safe. And there you have it, Alex, said Steve. Go Castle is open for business. I need to go there for a vacation, said EY Stream. EY Stream, Ella, and Ethan all got on the Go train to Go Castle. EY Stream looked at the train with amazement. How did a small Minecrafter do all this? He asked Ethan. Maybe he had help. He said. They got into a train compartment and saw that a camera was watching them. Okay, that's creepy, Ella said. Why would Soren have cameras in the compartment? Because there's a sign, said Ethan, warning people looking to harm others and the owner will be subjected to prison and death. Okay, I'm really not liking this small Minecrafter, said the ice stream. Welcome travelers, said the spokesperson. This train is automatic. For safe travels. If anything goes wrong, please tell it to the camera and Sorin will come right away. Thank you and safe travels. The train started moving and EY Stream tensed up. It was smoother than any train they've ever been on. After a few hours, a food cart showed up. Oh, thank God, said EY Stream. I'm starving. This is not like the Hogwarts Express, said Ethan. We can actually eat anything. We should figure out. Be figuring out who who Soaring is, said Ella. I'm wondering why he doesn't want killers at his castle. Maybe he's seen a lot of action, said Ethan. 
No, he wants it to be safe for everyone, said Eli Stream. If there's one killer, then the whole castle is compromised. They heard a faint explosion from a distance and looked out the window. There, they saw that the bridge exploded and they were going towards it. That's not good, said, so said Ethan. Uh, soaring, said the West Stream. The bridge exploded and we're heading for it. The train started to pick up speed. The three of them fell to the floor. They heard footsteps on the roof. Jordan! Said Ella, do something. Eorstrom took out his sword and got out of the compartment. He then saw Soaring in front of him. You, he said. Did you do this? No. I'm afraid something more supernatural has worked, my friend, said Soaring. Soaring gazed at the train. As I su suspected, he muttered. He's been freed. I have to act fast. Who's been freed? asked the Eorstrom. You of all people should know, said Soaring. After all, you're the one who defeated him two times. Hades? yelled Eli Stream. You're telling me that Hades is in this realm? Yes, said Soaring. Luckily, I have the right plan to defeat him once and for all. Soaring used his magic and teleported the train to Go Castle. Ella and Ethan got out of the compartment and saw Soaring. How'd he get here? asked Ethan. He helped us. Said the U.S. Dream. Hades is in this realm. But that means that we're in danger. Said Ella. Both of you need to go into the bunker. Said Sorry. Hades won't be able to get to you. U.S. Dream, will you help me defeat Hades? Of course. He said. But wouldn't we need the spirit weapons? We would. Sorry said. But they're in another dimension. One where we've been banned from going to. Only to be used it for emergencies when Hades is freed from his prison. They approached a giant por well, bleh, portal and Soaring plugged in a tube. The portal opened up, but instead of the normal nether portal color, it was a bluish green cl color. How did you do that? asked the arrest stream. There's no possible way that Minecraft's code can do that. My friend, said Soaring. You haven't figured out the surface of Minecraft's code. The scary survival realm was just the beginning. We don't have much time to lose. They jumped in the portal, not knowing what adventures awaited them. On another side of the Minecraft realm, the Hermitcrafters started up their Season 10 Hermitcraft world. Welcome to Season 10 of Hermitcraft, said Exuma. This is on the 1.22 update. And we have everyone here that was from Season 9. There's Green right now. Hello, Exuma, said Green. Did you have a nice break? Yes, said Exuma. Recharge the creative batteries, and now I can see a new perspective for what I want to build this season. Well, I, for one, want to do more pranks, said Green. Although I do feel as though something odd in this world. Exuma looked at Green, puzzled. What do you mean? he asked. I feel as though we are being watched, he said. Did you check every inch of the seed generation? Yes, said Exuma. There's no one here. I'll keep an eye out, though. I appreciate it, Brian said. See you later. They parted ways, and Exuma started building his starter base. Green met up with Mumbo and caught up with plans. Have you realized that in Season 6 we did Sahara and with Iskal? said Mumbo. And in Season 7, me and him did Pacifico. Yeah, said Green, starting to see a pattern. Mumble was about to talk when they both heard a low, low growl. They looked around but didn't see anything. Did you hear that? Asked Mumble. Yeah, said Green. Nothing in Minecraft sounds like that. Not even known entities. We need to warn the others, said Mumble nervously. They ran to the shopping district and rang the bell. The hermit surrounded them. Green, what's going on? asked Azuma. The bell is only to be used in emergencies. This is an emergency, yelled Green. Listen to the sound we recorded. The hermits listened and looked at each other. There's no way that's in the Minecraft code, said Scar. I won't be able to sleep now, yelled Beatups. Azuma, you are the leader, said Green. What do we do? 
They all looked at Exuma. I don't have an answer. Said Exuma. I thought he was a myth, but he's real. Who's real? Asked Stress. Back when Minecraft's code was developed, said Exuma, an entity was made to destroy it. He was known as Hades. The gods of Minecraft imprisoned him in another realm called the Scary Survival Realm. He can only be freed if he gains enough power. If that growl is correct, he has been freed. Is there any way we can stop him? Asked Doc. Not without spare weapons, said Exuma. They were locked in that realm. They all looked at each other, knowing that they were going to be killed. Exuma then modded everyone's armor and tools to netherite. Exuma, you just cheated, exclaimed Gurian. You know we don't do that. This is a time where Hermitcraft rules don't apply, said Exuma. Hades is here and we need all the firepower we can get. I feel that Minecraft is at stake. They saw, then saw a black orb forming in front of them. They saw Hades coming out of it. Hades gazed at the Hermitcrafters and smiled. If this is the pow most powerful crafters, he chuckled, then Minecraft is them. Hades thrust his sword downwards and sent a shockwave. The hermits flew back. Hango, Impulse, and Mumbo built TNT cannons and fired at Hades. It did minimum damage, only to annoy him. Hades shot a burst of energy, which turned into three. Tango, Impulse, and Mumbo were turned into souls and put into the hilt of Hades' sword. Mumbo, no! yelled Grian. Grian charged at Hades and struck a heavy blow with his sword. Hades bled black blood, but laughed. Is that all? he asked. He stabbed Grian and collected his soul. He then summoned a volley of arrows that collected every other hermit. Leaving Exuma, Hades casually walked to him. You and your team fought valiantly, he said. I will make sure to put you all to a good area in my prison. You will be defeated, said Exuma. Not likely, said Hades. Hades some swung his sword and collected Exuma's soul. He looked at season 10 of Hermitcraft and waved his hand. The area then turned infected in block city rage and his family were relaxing in the living room when the news came on honey what's going on asked ashley don't know said rage let me turn it up breaking news said alex hermitcraft season 10 area has been destroyed by a new entity we don't know who it is but steve is in the area steve hello alex said Steve. This entity has infected Hermitcraft, but it's still here. He is now deemed very dangerous and is now headed for Block City. Oh no. The camera cut off as a blue light flashed. Steve, do you copy? Asked Alex. We lost Steve, but we're trying to get him back. Wait, he's dead? Well, it appears we're all in danger. Please head to your nearest portal and evacuate. Rage and his family rushed into the truck, leaving everything behind. This can't be happening, said Rage. I thought he defeated him. What's going on? asked Ashley. The entity we saw on TV was Hades, said Rage. The West Stream went to his, into his realm to defeat him. I thought he did that, but he must have been re revived. That's horrible, said Ashley. I'm scared, said Rage Jr. We're going to get through this. <clears throat> said Rage. We just need to get through the interdimensional portal. You mean the one that Dr. Panic made? Said Ashley. I don't trust it. He's just informed me that the government gave him the okay to use the band dimension. Said Rage. They got to Block Labs and saw Dr. Panic rushing to get the portal up and running. This goes here, he muttered. This goes here. All right, here we go. The portal turned on in a bluish green color. That's not the normal color of the portal, said Rage. You won't be traveling through the nether, said Dr. Panic. You all we will be going to a different world. You will be transformed into a different version of yourselves. Just as they were about to enter, Hades appeared. Ah, the elixir family, he gloated. Another crafter to kill. 
Rage walked in front of his family. You won't kill my family, he said. Ashley, take the kids and go. What about you? She, she asked. I'll deal with Hades, he said. He summoned another right sword and charged at Hades. Ashley and the kids went into the portal. As Ashley walked in, she saw Rage get stabbed and his soul collected. She yelled in agony as she was teleported to a different realm. Eli Stream and Soaring arrived in the different realm and noticed that they were different. The portal closed behind them. And they knew there was no way back. What is this place? Eli Stream asked. This realm is called Earth, said Soaring. The realm has given you some stuff. Take a look in your pockets. Eurystream looked and saw a communication device and a plastic rectangle. What are these things? he asked. The device is ca uh, called a smartphone, said Soaring. The other is a debit card. You use it to buy things. What are we supposed to do while we're here? he asked. Considering the spare weapons disappeared from the Minecraft realm, said Soaring, they were te teleported here. By the looks of it, they were teleported to the mountains. How far do we have to travel? Eurystream asked. Well, we are in Washington, D.C., said Soren. So we have to travel about 2,091 miles, which is 3,701 blocks in our realm. Eurystream gave a low whistle. That's a really long distance, he said. How many days will it take? About a month, said Soren. A month? Eurystream exclaimed. But Hades could have taken everyone's soul by now. I know, yelled Soaring. There's no other option but to walk. We have no mode of transportation. Wait, we could take the bus. It would shorten our time by at least 98%. Great, said Eurystream. Let's do that. The two heroes went to the bus station and took the next bus to Salt Lake City, Utah. In the realm of Minecraft, Hades yelled in rage. I missed four crafters, he yelled. Eve, Testy, where are they? By my calculations, said Eve, two of them have escaped this realm to the band realm of Earth. The other two have hidden themselves. Hades chuckled. Well, looks like we have to hunt, he said. Testy, go to the band realm and kill Eli Stream and the small crafter. Testy bowed. But his eyes looked concerned. I will, Lord Hades, he said. Hestie went into the portal and into the band realm. He walked out of the portal and gazed in amazement. Looks amazing, he said. Focus, I have to find Eli's dream. He looked around and saw him and Small Crafter getting on a bus. Oh no, he said. They're getting on a transportation ride. I have to hurry. Testy got on just in time and hid himself. Eurystream and Sorin got on the bus, and as they sat down, they saw someone very familiar get on at the last minute. Impossible, Eurystream whispered. How is Testy here? Been assigned to kill us, that Sorin said. Something off, though. You look, he's nervous. Don't consider you a friend. We need to confront him. Bus started to move, and the two heroes watched as Testy tensed up. Not used to modes of transportation, Thorin told you, Ice Dream. He used to walking everywhere. Poor guy, said Ice Dream. Wish I could comfort him. We don't want to. We, we don't want to blow our cover, Thorin said. We'll talk to him when we get off. After eight hours, they, which, they reached Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. They got, all got off and went to confront Testy. Te Thorin grabbed Testy and brought him to his side. All right, why did you come here? He asked. I know Hades want, wants you to kill us, but you have that look of you don't want to. Testy looked at Eli's stream. You two are the most dangerous in Hades' plan to take over, said Testy. He doesn't want, just want to take over Minecraft, but this realm as well. How did he get revived? Thorin asked. My sister decided that Hades was right all along, Testy said. 
She thought that all crafters needed to die. I honestly thought that my sister wouldn't do this, but I was wrong. Testy wept as Eli Stream and Sorian looked at each other. We should have him help us, said Eli Stream. And have him jeopardize his mission? Sorian exclaimed. He is now an enemy. We cannot afford to have him get a hold of the spear weapons. Sorin looked at Testy. Get up, Sorin told him. Considering I don't trust you, but EY Stream does, we're keeping an eye on you. Do anything to harm us, I will eliminate you. Understand? Testy's eyes grew fearful. Yes, I understand, he said in a quiet voice. Testy, I'm not Testy. Dorian looked at the next bus leaving. Great, we'll leave on the next bus now, he said. The crafters that were collected in Hades Hill gra gathered around. What is this place, Exuma? asked Stress. It's giving off a very bad vibes. We're in Hades Hilt of his sword, said Exuma. My guess is that our souls have been collected here for his amusement. Mumbo, Tango, and Etho all were on the edge of the glass dome trying to build a redstone device to get them all out. Mumbo, hand me a command block, yelled Etho. Mumbo tossed him one, and Etho put in the information. All right, everyone stand back, yelled Tango. Everyone stood back, and the device exploded. Dead of, a glass, of the glass dome leaving a hole, it was fully intact. Impossible, said Tango. How did our device not blow it up? Mumbo went to get a closer look. It's healing itself, he told everyone. They then heard a low droning noise and saw someone falling from the very top. They gathered in the middle to see a new crafter. Isn't that Rage Elixir? He asked Scar. Yes, said Exuma. Hades must have gotten to Block City. That's several million blocks from Harmacraft Season 10. Rage woke up and stared at everyone. Hermits? He asked. Got to you guys first? Yes, said Kazuma. We've been trying to get out for days. But the glass dome is indestructible. Rage looked down in sadness. My wife and kids are in the banned realm, he told them. You mean to tell me... That you put them in a realm that we're not supposed to go into? Ixima exclaimed. What were you thinking? We're meant to go to, into that realm for emergencies, Rage yelled. Hades coming into our realm consisted of an emergency. I made the sacrifice in order to keep my family safe. The hermit fell silent. Have you all noticed that there's a hole at the top? Asked Korean. They all looked and saw the hole. A way out, said False. We can build a ladder to get out. I was thinking of an elevator, said Mumbo. They all agreed on Mumbo's idea and built it. It could fit everyone, and when it reached the top, they could all get out. All right, we'll make the break, a break for the portal, the band dimension, said Exuma. They all broke out of the glass dome. Hades paced around his throne. Been a day since I told those two to kill the rest of the crafters, he muttered. What's taking them so long? His sword started to shake. What? he exclaimed. The crafters exploded out of his sword and made a break for it. No! he yelled. I will not have them escape. The crafters made their way to the, the portal and went in. Rage met up with... Ella and Ethan. Rage, said Ethan. Am I glad to see you? We've been hiding for days. Our rations are very low. That's because you ate a month's worth, yelled Ella. Come with me if you want to live, said Rage. I've always wanted to say that. They all raced to the portal. They went in and Rage destroyed the portal the last minute. Hades roared in fury as there was no way to follow them. 
In my stream, Soren and Testy finally got to Salt Lake City, Utah, when they saw a portal open up. Did Hades get through? Eri Stream asked. No, said Soren. It looks like everyone actually freed themselves from his grasp. The three of them met up with the hermits, Ella, and Ethan. Jordan, am I glad to see you, Ella said. We've been in that bunker for days and Rage got, him, got us out. Good to see you, Eri Stream, said Rage. Who's the new guy? That's Soren, Eri Stream told him. He's actually a lot more powerful for a small, a small crafter. Soren stared at the sky. He then walked over to Exuma. Does see you all made it, he told him. Yeah, Exuma said. Without that hole, we would have been goners. Eri looked at the both of them. Wait, you're telling me that you were Hades' prisoner? Eri exclaimed. All the more reason to defeat him, Soren said. Anyone who stands with him is an enemy. Therefore, they need to be eliminated. Steve has proven to not be an enemy. Steve fell to the floor. Thorin rushed to him. I should have known, he cursed. The markings of Hades gave it to him are now killing him. In a few minutes, he will die. Can't you do something? He rushed and asked. I mean, you're a lot more powerful with magic. Thorin took a book out a book and placed his hand on Steve's heart. He spoke in a different language and the market disappeared. Everyone looked at Sorin in disbelief. What language was that? Exuma asked. All we know is English and the language of the enchantment table. That was Latin. Sorin told him. I've been traveling here for a few years. I picked up the language in case I come across some demons or curses in the Minecraft realm. Luckily, I got to use it for test Steve. Test Steve opened his eyes and looked at Soaring. Thank you, Soaring, he said. You freed me from Hades' grasp. Where are we supposed to go? Dress asked. It's getting dark and hostile mobs will be appearing. Soaring chuckled. There will be no need to worry about hostile mobs, he told her. We'll check into a hotel that's nearby. Crossover Heroes all walked over to a nearby hotel and checked in. <laughs> Hades was meditating when his link with Testy was severed. Curses! He yelled. Someone has broken the curse on Testy. I never thought it could be done. Could have done such a thing. He walked over to his crystal ball, gazed into it. He saw Sorin lo lifting the curse. Could have known it was you, he growled. You have been a thorn in my side for years, Soaring Majesty. You figured out my weaknesses and used them. And my stream wasn't as powerful as you. Eve! Eve ran to her father. Yes, father, she said. Have you figured out another way to open another portal to the band realm? He asked softly. No, father, she said. Every element that I combine doesn't work. By my calculations, you would need an element from the band dimension. Hades sighed, but Eve could tell he was angry with her. I can link it to other dimensions that can link it to the band dimension, she told him. Hades looked at her. Do what you must to eliminate them all, he said. I will not let have them destroy my conquest. As you wish, father, she said. She left the room and went into the other room. Brother. She whispered, what's taking so long? <clears throat> During TRY stream, the hermits and Rage hung out at the hotel, figuring out a plan to go to the Rocky Mountains. I'll need a team for this mission, Zorin said. It will consist of people who I think will get through the traps. <clears throat> who do you think will be on the team? asked Azuma. For starters, I think that Eri Stream and Test Steve should be the first two, he said. They were the first members. They know a lot about Hades. And they were the first to have the spirit weapons. Zuma, I also want you on the team. You are a great leader, and I want you as my second in command. I appreciate that, Zuma told him. We also need someone great with technology. 
Frank continued. Therefore, I need Mumbo. Green should also come along, just in case we come across enemies to blow up. So, we have a total of six people, said Exuma. Is that enough? I'd figured we shouldn't bring too many people, Soaring told him. We should get some rest. We leave at dawn. Soaring laid in his bed, thinking about the Minecraft realm. His soul then transferred to the realm, he saw, and he saw Hades. He and Eve were in deep conversation. Is the portal ready for travel? He asked. Yes, father, she said. We will, go to, we will travel to the different realms in order to get to the band realm. Perfect, Hades growled. For years I have dreamed of this conquest, and now it finally comes true. They entered the portal, and Sorin awoke with a start. He rushed to UI Stream's room and woke him up. What's going on, Sorin? UI Stream asked. Hades is coming here now, he told him. He just figured out how to get here using different realms. Eva's stream's eyes grew wide. Then we need to get to the spear weapons, he said. We need to wake the others. Everyone met up in the hotel lobby, wearing and were in full armor. They were on high alert. Citizens in the lobby were concerned and muttering about crazy people. Hades will be here, Thorin told them. Eva's stream, Testy, Zuma, Mumbo, Green, and I will head... To the Rocky Mountains to retrieve the spear weapons, while the rest of you will stand your ground here. Will there be enough people here? Scar asked. I can only hope, Doreen told him. Doreen summoned weapons that could weaken Hades severely. Zimba looked at the weapons. Doreen, how is this possible? He asked. I did a lot of research, he said. It's not spear weapons, but viz weapons will weaken him severely. I will need this crystal to add to the weapon. The heroes parted ways from the hermits and went off to the Rocky Mountains. <clears throat> Back in the Minecraft dimension, the OG crafters heard about the news. Captain, did you hear about what happened to the hermits? asked Dan. Yes, I heard, said Captain Sparkles. They got out safely, but the entity known as Hades is following them. Yet, I wonder why he didn't come for us. Maybe it's because we're not a threat, said Dan. I mean, we're not on his ra radar. You're right, said Captain Sparkles. But we should help. Get to the portal. All are squid. The three heroes went to the portal, and the portal turned bluish green. They went in and traveled to the band dimension. Scar, Stress, False, and Tangle guarded the hotel when they saw the portal opened up. They armed themselves and gazed at the portal. They saw who were coming out of the portal and were relieved. Oh my god, said Scar. It's the OG crafters. How are they here? asked Stress. I thought their area wasn't infected. You are correct, Stress, said Dan. Yet we saw what happened, and we thought you guys could use to help. Some help. Treoris, set up the defenses. Got it, said Dr. Treoris. Squid, how many weapons did we bring? He asked. Bought a chest worth, said Squid. I modified the arrows to have poison, harming, weakness, and slowness. Perfect, Dan said. Captain Sparkles, how's your PvP skills looking? Captain Sparkles summoned a zombie and did a 360 double twist backflip and cut off his head. Show off. Dan said, I see that you clearly still got it. The OG crafters looked at the hotel and saw that something was off about it. It was in the middle of nowhere, but there were people. They looked at the people and noticed that their eyes were blank. All right, team, said Dan. We've been compromised. Hayes' forces are here, but disguised. <clears throat> Tangle looked at the people and understood. He pressed a button, and turrets popped up. They fired at the enemies, but they wouldn't go down. They showed their true forms. Corrupt spirits, Captain Sparkles yelled. They must have gone into the band realm before all of us. Don't let them touch you, yelled Dan. The infection is worth, worse than the wither sickness. It'll spread in mere seconds. 
they all got out, modified bows and arrows, and fired at the corrupt spirits. One by one they fell, but more kept coming. Where do they keep coming from? asked Scar. Dress looked at her feet and saw a spawner below them. She broke it and the corrupt spirits fell. Everyone collapsed to their knees, looking at the damage. Is everyone okay? asked Dan. Everyone nodded, but then they heard a groan. They saw Dr. Treoris on the ground. Dan rushed to him. Dr. Treoris, no! Dan said. This can't be happening. Corruption was spreading to his body, but it was very slow. This is one battle. You'll have to fight alone, Dan, said Dr. Treoris. I'm not ready to say goodbye, Dan told him. The corruption fully went to his body, and it and he disappeared. Dan stood up and grabbed his bow. Time that Hades paid, he told everyone. Dorian, Irastream, Testy, Mumbo, Green, and Exuma were in the middle of the Rockies when they got the notification of new arrivals. Dan, Captain Sparkles, and Squid just arrived, said Exuma. They've come to help. That's good, said Soaring. But we need to keep moving. I sense that every passing day that we don't get spear weapons, Hades is close to his goal. The others nodded and went deeper into the mountains. They got to an altar and were greeted by Spirit Steve. Spirit Steve! Ewestrum exclaimed. What are you doing here? Time is at the essence, he said. I feel a great disturbance in the realms. Hades has infected nine realms in order to get here. <clears throat> but he hasn't gotten here, Thorin told him. I would have felt it. You must be sorry, Majesty, Fritz Steve said. I sense great darkness in you, yet you've learned to control it. You have done well. Yorstream looked at them both. So you trained him? He asked him. Trained him? Spirit Steve exclaimed. He was the best wizarding warrior ever. He was sent to kill Hades before you ever got to our realm. When you got to the realm, Zorin was a prisoner for months. You set him free when you defeated him. He then created his own series and world so he could train others in case Hades would return. A year later, he did. Tony warned me about it and I fled to this with spirit weapons. They are hidden in, here in a cave full of traps. Green stepped forward. I'm great with traps, he told him. And Mumbo can to, to, to defuse the traps. Spirit Steve looked at them. Clever enough that you put a team, sorry, he said. You have grown to be a team player. Testif stepped for. Turn it down. Testif stepped for ner very nervously. Spirit Steve looked at him very somberly. You have felt betrayed, said Spirit Steve. Your sister revived Hades when you knew that he would destroy all realms. Therefore, you have felt the need to help your friends. Hades knew this and put a curse on you. Yes, Spirit Steve, he said. Luckily, it was lifted by Soaring. Exactly, Spirit Steve said. If Soaring hadn't traveled to the Pan Dimension and trained with me again to learn Latin, he wouldn't have lifted the curse, although I fear that your sister isn't doing what she intends. What do you mean? Tessie asked. She is also cursed, Spirit Steve told him. Have you guys wondered why she revived him? It's because she is being controlled. A spirit has a hold of her. We must act now to save her. What are we waiting for? Irasim said. If Eve is in danger, we, then we must save her. Remember the mission, Thorin told him. Eve is strong. She will hold out. Tessie looked at the ground. Don't worry, Thorin told him. We'll get your sister back. I have a pocket portal ready. 
as Steve nodded. Dorian looked at the spirit Steve. All right, we are ready, he told him. Two of you will go into the cave, spirit Steve said. The rest of you will remain here. Wait, Thomas said. Why are the rest of us remaining here? Too many people will result in the spirit weapons disappearing again, he told him. They need to find a host. You assume you should go, Thorne said. Take Mumble with you. He'll know a lot about the traps. I've already handled the spare weapons, he said. I don't think I'm the one. You should go. Thorne looked at Mumble. Let's go, he said. All right, Mumble said. Thorne and Mumble went into the cave, and the rest of the team waited at the entrance. And that is end of part one of the last Minecraft series. I hope you all enjoyed it, and I shall see you all next time. Goodbye.